Hey guys, Stanley E here and I'm in my kitchen and I'm not about to cook, but I'm about to actually review this bad boy here, a microwave. And you're wondering, yes, Stanley E, we're reviewing microwaves now. Yeah, you know, because I, I got to eat. I got to warm up some leftovers and also do some cooking. So this is an interesting microwave. This is the Samsung MC116033, otherwise known as a Samsung Smart Oven because it's a dual functioning oven because it does work as a microwave and a convection oven. Now, a convection oven basically works like a regular oven. You can grill, you can cook in here, you can bake. You can also do something called still fry, which is why it comes with these accessories. It comes with like a still frying pan where you can actually lightly fry, make fries, not fry, but make fries. And it's also got like this grilling stand so you can actually use with it too. Uh, and it's actually pretty interesting so the samsung mc116033 retails for uh 3.99 or you could probably find it for slightly less and you can pick it up right now so i want to find out if this is something that you should actually purchase and use within your home if you're looking for even say sort of like a pseudo second oven or if you live in a dorm or small apartment say in new york city where you don't have an oven this might actually work out well for you so let's jump in and find, find that out you can watch me do some baking, some grilling, some frying, all right here in this bad boy. So let's jump in. Aesthetically, it looks like a microwave, very standard microwave look. Of course, you've got a glass door and you've got a handle. That's one of the issues I have with this, actually. It's the handle itself because it doesn't have a, a button mechanism. You almost have to use your finger to actually press down on the side before opening it. So that's something to take note. Now, we take a look at uh, some of the... Uh, uh, button dials there and we have a couple of functions uh, for microwave as well as also for the convection oven and we can zoom in closer to see so we have still fry popcorn defrost auto reheat convection uh, fast preheat grill uh, microwave uh, microwave and convection and microwave and grill you can use all those in combination whichever way you choose and we will look at that in a second uh, you also have the dial which is for your numbers which is very easy to actually use and of course you have your start 30 second plus and end and you've got an eco mode in there so as a microwave it's an easy uh, uh, setup you can just hit start and you can just keep cranking up uh, the numbers that you wish wish or crank it down and stop right there and it's an easy process now let's do some some grilling. Uh, I'm gonna do some lamb first, just to show you how this works as a convection uh, oven. So the first thing uh, to do while cooking anything, even in a regular oven, is doing a preheat. You can do a fast preheat by actually hitting the preheat button, where you can cycle between temperatures from 400 down to 100. And then uh, you hit the start button, and then you can, of course, uh, it will preheat your convection oven. Uh, which lets me prepare my lamb that I'm actually going to throw in here. So uh, what advice, make sure you chop it into small pieces. It handles it better that way. Um, and um, of course you season it, you throw it in there and uh, you go ahead and you use the convection option. So I'm going to show you that in a second. And uh, you can see that's next to the preheat. Um, and uh, I'll just make sure I turn off the uh, Preheat option first after it's done. So let's hit stop and we hit convection. We can, of course, cycle through temperatures again by ta continue tapping through that if we want to. So we can do 400, 375, and all I have to do is just use the dial to crank up uh, the time. I'm, I put 26 minutes here, even though it, it takes longer for lamb. Uh, I just wanted to give you an idea that this actually, uh, well, you know, does some cooking. You hit start, and that's pretty much it. So here's the product after 26 minutes. You can see it still needs some more cooking, but you can bake lamb in a convection oven. Now moving on to some pie. I love making apple pie in the holiday season. You guys have seen my videos. And again, the process is pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do, of course, is make your pie. If you don't know how to do that, check out my uh, pie making video. And of course, put it at convection, set your temperature, set your time, actually throw this in there and you should be good. Um, I put 30 minutes uh, again, just, just to show you how uh, this actually handles in baking a pie. Uh, I throw it in there, hit the start button and your pie should be good to go.
So here is the finished product. Again, it's quite easy to bake a pie in here. It took longer than 30 minutes, but it's something I wanted to show you. Um, although the oven does have this fail safe where it trips off after if it, if it overheats. So just be mindful of that. Now, this is making fries. You use one of those grates that uh, we, I showed you earlier. You put that into the microwave. You take your fries, you chop them up. If you're making homemade fries, of course, and then you put it on that, on that frying pan that uh, I showed you earlier. Make sure your fries are coated with a teaspoon, just a teaspoon of olive oil. And um, that's it. That's one to two servings of fries, according to what's in the uh, instruction manual. You place that in there, you close it up, and then you hit the slim fry option. Now, slim fry option allows you to cycle through different options, numbers one through to eight. Five is the option for home fries. And then you just turn the dial to actually pick the number of servings between two and four. So this is going to be two. I just rotate it to two and then uh, two or four, and then you hit start and you are good to go with your uh, slim fries. And there it is, that's the slim fries right there. Um, it, it's when you set it up, it's about 30, 30 minutes or so, 38 I think, but it looked good, looks tasty, and this thing actually works in your home. So you can use it as an oven to a certain degree, but let's go ahead and round up this review. Okay, so that is the Samsung MC116033. This is one pretty cool microwave slash uh, convection oven. The one issue I have with this is this actually door handle. I can't just pull it down. I have to basically go to the side, kind of put my finger to pull, or else I have some issues actually opening this. So hopefully they fix that kind of mini design floor. It's kind of one of those ovens where you have to do that. To open it so that's the kind of issue i have with it other than that i love its form and function i love the dial uh for time it's quite easy to use and so simple i also love the fact that you've got a lot of easy um button layouts and setup here now when it comes to actual uh function as a microwave fantastic it does a solid job there 100 the convection oven it, you know, I would say it does a good job, but not excellent. So it's got a timer. It's almost got like a temperature timer. It's 30 minutes is the max. You can use the convection oven at a time. So that's something to take note. If you want to cook anything that's longer than 30 minutes in there, um, you know, you almost have to do it in interval, so to speak, because it does have a fail safe for temperature fail safe in case it overheats. That's something to take note. I'm not saying it does uh, that constantly, but if it, it's running way too hot, it's going to actually trip off which is a good thing, so it doesn't actually blow your house or anything. But in terms of actually using it as a convection oven, it does a really good job. Uh, you know, when I did the meats, what I actually needed to do was actually chop them down a little bit smaller for the lamb. But, it, you, you know, if you're baking salmon, which I've done also in there, you can do that pretty well. You can bake a pie, I can bake the pie in there. You can also fry, you know, make fries and also do other things with it. So the convection oven works well. And I think this is pretty cool for someone in a smaller apartment, doesn't have an oven or someone in college that doesn't necessarily always want to just warm stuff with the microwave might want to do some light cooking this is the microwave slash oven for you and i like it so i definitely will recommend the samsung mc116033 smart oven and uh yeah i i really like it in the home i like it the fact that i actually can bake two pies now because i do have an ugly sweater, sweater party to go to and i have to bring something so i can bake a pie and the next day i have to go to a christmas party and the third day i have to go to another christmas party so basically i have three parties in a row i have to bake three pies and i have a regular oven i have this i can bake two pies at the same time so there you have it that's why I like it. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, guys. Stop staring at the sweater. Stare at the microwave. The microwave, not the sweater. So uh, hopefully you like this video. Uh, don't forget to uh, like it, share it, and favorite this video so we can make more videos like this for you about different other electronic products, not just, you know, smartphones and tablets. And um, do subscribe to the channel, top right-hand corner of the screen or down in the description below. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.